VIPs, everyone. Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a um, we discovered new artists uh, mm-hmm. from the Philippines, and uh, hey. there's a lot of Filipinos in Dubai. What up? Uh, magandang tanghali sa inyong lahat. All right, Virgin Radio Dubai, the Chris Fade Show. We are honored here at Expo 2020 Dubai to be with Apple Diap and Taboo, the Black Eyed Peas, Peace. everyone. Woo! Yeah. I'm the latest member of the Black Eyed Peas. My name right, is Preeti. Right. Thank you. Guys, you're in Dubai. You're at Expo. How cool is this? It's amazing. You know, first of all, I want to say what's up to everybody that's been supporting us throughout the years. It's an amazing event. Yeah. We're excited about performing tomorrow, mm-hmm. and it's good to be back in Dubai. It is so good really to have good. you guys back in Dubai. Yeah, we can't wait to rock out on that beautiful dome right there, the stage, and then, of course, the whole world is in Dubai right now, Yeah, and uh, we can't wait to, to provide some entertainment and, uh, and just, you know, people sharing cultures and ideas and and technology. Uh, absolutely. Infinite nights here at Expo 2020 Dubai. Before we go ahead, what can your fans expect tomorrow night? I know you don't want to give too much away, but we want to know a little bit about what's to come because I think you guys are such amazing performers. It's like immersive. Well, can I say that um, we put our album in 2020, Yep. which was called Translation. We had songs with J Balvin, Osuna, Maluma, Shakira, Yep. which we may be performing. Maybe. We haven't performed in Dubai, these new songs. But you must. That sounds pretty good. We can't let you leave without okay. doing that. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're saying it right here. We Thank will you. be performing some of those songs. Okay, okay. From translation. Uh, we'll bring the energy, as we always do. Yep. And we have an amazing new artist that's part of our family that I would love, Appity App, to talk about, J. Ray So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a, um, we discovered new artists uh, mm-hmm. from the Philippines. And uh, hey. there's a lot of Filipinos in Dubai. What up? Uh, magandang tanghali sa inyong lahat. And, uh, yeah, she's very talented. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we're blessed that we have the platform to uh, to discover and and mold and and um, you know give a path to aspiring artists. So you'll see Jerry so tomorrow. Oh, that's so exciting! Going to be here at Infinite Nights. Now let's talk about translation because that came out in 2020, June, right? Yeah. June. So the world is in the midst of this pandemic. Everyone is so scared about what's to come, and here the Black Eyed Peas come out with one of the biggest party albums there is. Were you guys scared to put that out? Was there a thought for a second where you're like, hey, maybe we shouldn't release it, or you thought it was the perfect time? I think what we have always contributed is a, a feeling of joy, happiness, yep. optimism, mm-hmm. right? Optimism and hope and positivity. That's something that we were introduced to the world with Where's the Love? Yeah. Song about hope, inspiration, you know, love. And so, yes. There was a lockdown. We were all uncertain what was going to happen, but people needed that therapy. Yep. And we felt like that's our contribution. It was a more of an upbeat, celebratory album with great features. Yep. But at the end, we did talk about yes. what was happening yeah. with the song called News Today, which was kind of like the song that didn't really match the album, but we needed to address that. Of course, yeah. So, you know, it was only right for us to put it out because we felt like we needed to bring positivity, light, and optimism. Yeah, we made it a point um, to to uh, make an energetic party album because yeah. just like Tabu said, we were hoping to get out there sooner and now here we are. Here we are. Now, there's one thing about the Black Eyed Peas that personally for me means so much. You know, when they say music transcends languages, I feel like the Black Eyed Peas really embody that to the T. You know, I'm Indian American, and I remember when Don't Don't Funk With My Heart came out, and there was a Bollywood flavor in that. And I was so proud because I'm like, wait, I don't have to separate my two heritages. I don't have to be American one day and Indian another day. And you, of course, with your Mexican heritage, with your Filipino background, you guys fuse music from around the world so seamlessly. Why is that? Is that like an intentional thing or is that just comes naturally with your backgrounds? I think it comes naturally. You know, we're, we're students of hip hop. Yeah. You know, and hip hop fuses all these different inspirations from jazz to bebop to doo wop to funk, uh, to R&B, to soul. So we've always been inspired by like a, a, a mosaic of sound yeah, yeah. and inspiration and, and cultures. So that being said, you know, meeting Apple, learning about Filipino culture, 
you know, and then meeting Will and it's just like we exchange a cultural exchange, which kind of bled into our music. Mm -hmm. Will being from East L.A., predominantly Mexican neighborhood, he's the only uh, African-American family that lived there. So he was inspired by Mexican culture. That being said, we just added that flavor to the Black Eyed Peas sound and that's what you get. Yeah, we love uh, experimenting. Yeah. Um, You know, we would like sit around in the studio and be like, yo, can you? Can you rap to this? Can you do a cadence? And it'll be like a like a, a Latin jazz song, you know? Yeah. And then can we make this into like a Black Eyed Peas style hip hop? So we've always been experimenting and trying to infuse a fusion of different music genres. And, and, and? also incorporating Tagalog and Spanish. Yes, I love that. How fresh is that, right? It's just, it, and the thing is, it doesn't seem out of place on pop radio, on Top 40 radio. It's not like you're like, wait, what's that? It makes perfect sense. And I think the Black Eyed Peas are the one band who have really put a stamp on that. And, and quote, I hate using the word normal, but you know what I mean. It just makes it a part of the everyday culture. And what better place than Expo 2020 Dubai to do something like that? Have you guys had a chance to walk around? We haven't. Well, this is, we're doing press. And, and after gonna... this, we're going to go to the Filipino what? The, uh, the pavilion, the Filipino pavilion uh, here. And we're actually going to do a, a quick walk th- through the stage. Yes, and just, amazing. We're going to do a sound you know, check. Just study the, the stage, our placements, because there's going to be a lot of dope visuals yeah. and movement with the show. Oh, we cannot wait, guys. Black Eyed Peas are going to be here. Infinite Nights, All Wassel Plaza. You need to be there. Get here early because you want to get a good view. It will be streamed online as well at expo2020dubai.com. To all my Kababayans, make sure uh, to come tomorrow. Can't wait to see you guys. Absolutely. Taboo, Apple D app, the Black Eyed Peas. Peace. Peace.